What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at Lead Code problem number 577, Employee Bonus. This one is marked as easy. Let's get straight into it. Now I don't want to give away too much, but this is a very typical interview question that you're going to encounter during your interviews, combining two tables and then also using a specific kind of join. So let's pay extra attention here and go through the problem statement. Our task is to select all employees name and bonus whose bonus is less than 1000. We have a table called employee and a table called bonus. Employee contains an employee ID, name, supervisor, the salary, and we have a bonus table which also has that employee ID and the bonus they received, if they received one. Let's take a look at the example output. We have John, Dan and Brad in here. And John didn't receive any bonus. John has employee ID 1 and is not in the bonus table just like Brad. Brad has 3 and he's not in the bonus table either. So these have null as bonus and we put them out because they basically received a bonus of 0. They didn't receive anything and 0 is less than a thousand so that's why we output them. Then we also have Dan in there with a bonus of 500. He's in the bonus table with the bonus amount of 500 but that's less than a thousand that's why it's in there. We have Thomas in here who is in the bonus table but he got 2000 which is more than a thousand or a thousand and that's why it's not in the output. So that should be clear now let's get into coding that up. So we want to select name and bonus since that's in the output right and we have these fields in our tables but they are they are split among employee and bonus so we have name and employee but bonus is in the table called bonus which might be confusing but we were pretty much reverse engineering our solution here of name and bonus as output fields and how do we get them we need to select these fields from employee and bonus so we're going to have to join them and yeah that, that's already a big part of the problem being solved. Okay so we want to join bonus and I mentioned using a special kind of join we're going to think about that later but let's see what we want to join on um, how, how we connect the, these tables. So we have employee ID in both of these tables and these are the primary keys for these tables. So that makes sense and we're able to uniquely look up employees and connect them. So we're going to join on employee ID um, using employee.emp ID is bonus.emp ID and that should work. I run that just for fun but we're going to see that we're only going to receive Dan and Thomas. We don't get these null values. And these should feel familiar, these null values, because you typically get them using outer joins, so left outer join, right outer join. What you're doing with the left outer join, left join is what you usually use. Left outer join is the left join. You are getting information from a table, regardless of whether you have that information in the other table. That's what we want here. So we want to have all employees' names and then if they received a bonus, we want that value. But if we use a regular join, we only get the employees that did in fact receive a bonus. So that have a, a value in here. That would be Dan and Thomas, two and four. But we also want everyone else that didn't receive a bonus since that's actually important here since we want to know if it's less than a thousand. And not receiving one is less than a thousand. Okay. So we're going to transform this to a left join and you're going to see these null values coming up. Basically the left join says the left table, we want to keep everything in the left table on the left side of the join keyword and the right side is what we're joining on and yeah these values will be filled up with null. So we have Brad who's in the left table and null for bonus since we don't have a bonus value in the bonus table. Same for John, Dan and Thomas actually had matches. 
So now, if we look at the difference between our output and the expected output, we have Thomas in there, and Thomas shouldn't be there because Thomas got a whopping bonus of 2,000, and that's not less than 1,000. So we're going to need to introduce that condition here, and whenever we, re we read that, whose bonus or which received a bonus, this keyword basically tells you to use a where filter to, yeah, fill, fill that condition, fulfill that condition. So these sentences, just saying, yeah, we want to make sure that this is in place, this condition, and yeah, we're going to use a where filter to do that, and it basically already gives us what we need to write out. So if bonus less than a thousand, then we, we put that out. Okay, so we have a problem because if we run that code, we can't compare 1000 to null since null is just a missing value and not technically zero. So we are also going to include or is null because is null is what we can use to check for null values. We have to use that specific keyword of is null because the equal doesn't really work as well since it's similar to uh, less than or greater than. Um, just something that you gotta know. Then, let's see. Or bonus is null. Still need to write that out. And that should work. It does. And maybe it doesn't read as well. There's another technique you can use to check for null values in MySQL which is coalesce and this is just gonna take a field name and then if you get a null value you can select a value to replace that null with and in this case we're gonna replace it with zero since if you have a null that means you didn't receive a bonus so your bonus amount was zero so that would just translate null to zero and if we put that in here we can compare that to a thousand directly, which is quite nice as well. So we're going to denote that not receiving bonus means zero bonus, and then we can compare that to a thousand or the actual value of 500 to a thousand. So that works, and if we submit that, that should be an accepted solution. And that's pretty much it for that problem. There is a question that came up regarding the difference between having this condition in the WHERE clause or in the ON join condition. And there is actually a difference here using left join, which wouldn't be the case if you were using a regular join. So if you're not interested in that, you can you can skip out the video now, but it's, it's very interesting and very tough problems. It sometimes comes up. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between using our bonus condition in the WHERE clause or in the filter condition in the on clause. So if we had that in here combining it using and and not where, which we had before, then we're going to get a different output, which is Thomas being included. And that's just how SQL works in terms of the order of operation. If you have a where clause, that is going to be applied after the join. So you're going to join these tables, then get something, and then use your where filter on that. But if you include that condition in the on clause, it's going to be part of the join. And in this case, what happens, and where we have Thomas in here, and not if we use where, I'm going to run it again using where. Yeah, that's accepted. And if I use and here and have it in the on, it's false. What happens here is that we compare Thomas's value, which is 2,000 for bonus, we're comparing that to 1,000 and it's less than 1,000. So it's the same as not having a matching employee ID. We don't have a match in the bonus table that fulfills that condition, have, having the same employee ID and being less than 1,000. So the left join is going to come up and put a null in here. But actually a null denotes or should denote in our case receiving zero bonus and in this case Thomas actually received 2000 so that's why we're wrong here 
since we're applying that filter at the wrong time and this way our left join doesn't work anymore. Hope that makes sense. It's not that easy to understand, but also since if you're using a regular join, you're not doing that special kind of join of taking everything in the left table and not in the right table or only if there's a match. You don't have that problem using a regular join, inner join. You only have that using a left or right join. So just keep aware of that or just know that this problem exists maybe to maybe revisit it at some point or just mention it during an interview. But that's going to be it for this question. It's marked as easy but yeah, it can be hard to grasp that if you didn't come up with the where solution yourself, which also yeah, just makes sense. Seems natural, the way of thinking through the problem. But anyways, if you want to look at more easy problems or a medium one, this could be medium, then check out the playlists I made for these specific difficulties on my YouTube channel. I have one for easy, medium and hard, going through these levels of difficulty on lead code. And apart from that, I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it and see you there.